What's up guys, Jake here. Today I'm back at home. I'm currently in my garage. I wanna go scuba diving at the river, but I gotta grab my gear first. But we're gonna put everything in the truck, head down to the river, and hopefully find some good things. Got the whole truck backed up. Let's head down to the river and hopefully find some good things down there. We just made it down to the river. I'm about to grab my gear, put it on, and head on down there. But before we do that, I actually have something super special I want to tell you guys. I got invited to go to the Beneath the Sea Expo located in New Jersey to accept an award called the Visionary Award. There's a range of different kind of people there. There's like legends in the sport. There's people who set up booths to show off cool new like technology within the scuba diving world. And then there's just people looking around at all the cool stuff. But I got invited to go accept this award. But I got all dressed up, went out there, and I pretty much butchered it. But uh, I was like crying and everything. But uh, it was super special, man. And I thought I'd show you guys this before we get out there. But Thank you so much Beneath the Sea for inviting me out for that award, that was really cool. This year Beneath the Sea is proud to present the 2019 Visionary Award. This year goes to a visionary, Jake Kohler. Thank you so much. Everyone, we want to introduce you to Jake Kohler. He's our newest visionary. Somebody new to the industry, but somebody very special to Beneath the Sea. Beneath the Sea is proud to give you this award this year because you are committed to preservation of this planet. Without people like you, without our youth, we wouldn't be able to continue this fight to protect our oceans and to move it on to the next generation. It's the little things you do, Jake, and everyone will see the little things he does in the next presentation. This moment, okay, speaks to the rest of your life. If you value this experience, it will help you in your journey. Okay, and I just want to say one thing as a mother. When you lead yourself, lead with your head. But when you lead others, lead with your heart. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome, man. You know, I wish I could see everyone's face right now, but seriously, this is super special. And uh, the Visionary Award, like, you know, this is the first time I've ever been here at the Beneath the Sea, and I'm very honored to be here to accept this. You know, That's our boy, Jake. Every time. <laughs> you guys, I couldn't do this without my family. You know, my friends. I don't know why I do this too much. <laughs>
you the medal. Thank you. But I put it on the charger and it actually still charges. How wild is that, man? I never thought I could reach a million subscribers and this right here is like, <laughs> I didn't think I'd get really emotional, but it's crazy, man. Thank you guys so much for a million subscribers. I'm gonna put the wetsuit on last because it's so hot out here, but the water's absolutely freezing cold. I don't wanna be out here sweating too much, so I got the scuba tank all set up. If you guys are up to date with my videos, you might have noticed that this rack right here is different. This is a new truck rack I had made by my friend Chance Jewel. I told him a little concept that I had in mind and he brought it to life. He made my dream into a reality. And this right here not only looks awesome, but it's actually very convenient. Anytime I need my scuba tank, I can pop it off the rack, put it on the ground, it locks so no one can steal it. And this is seriously gonna make my life so much easier. And he just made this from scratch, man. Just an idea I had. And and he brought it to life and if you guys have any idea whether it's a scuba rack just like mine or any other kind of custom rack he can make that come to life as well and i'm gonna have a link in the description below check it out send him a message tell him jake sent you and maybe you guys can have a cool custom rack just like me in the future I have the scuba tank all set up and ready to go. I have my dive flag here. When I'm down there, I'm gonna stab this into the sand so any boaters coming up know that there's someone underneath the water scuba diving. This is the first time I've dove in this river for over six months. The water's been super murky and absolutely freezing cold, but I'm excited to see what's at the bottom of the river and I'm ready to get down there and do that. These goggles are actually linked in the description below. These are the ones I use every single time I go out diving. They're super comfortable and they're gonna fit all types of different faces. So check them out if you guys are interested. I know summer's right around the corner, but I'm ready to get down there and have a good time. So let's go ahead and dive out there.
was crazy. There were so many. At one point, I couldn't even see in front of me because there's so many fish. That was awesome. I need to get a fishing pole. <laughs> I need a fish right here. around me or hooked on me? Oh, you're good. Is it around or hooked on me? There you go. Sorry about that. I got caught by a fisherman. <laughs> He's fishing in a good spot, man. There's a lot of fish down here, though. He caught a 150 pounder. <laughs> found Nazi pottery. What in the world? I've never found anything like this before and I believe I just found Nazi pottery. There's a Nazi sign right there. 
but that is crazy, man. So we just got done scuba diving. The water actually went high flow. The dam had the alarm go off. The water just started pumping out. There's huge rapids over here and the water got super murky, so we can't dive anymore for treasure. So what we're gonna do is actually head back to the truck, show all the treasure we found in the back of my tailgate, and then we'll call it a day. But we found some insane stuff and I can't wait to show you guys. Got my friend Justin with me today here yeah. as well. Dude, how awesome would it be to live down here one day? Oh like, look God. at this. So beautiful. I know. I want to live here one day, man. It's my dream. This is actually one of the only buildings that you can buy here next to the river. And one day, man, it is my dream to live here. I've always wanted to live here since I ever started going down to the river. And uh, hopefully that dream could be a reality this year. I'm going to start things off with my favorite find of the day. And it definitely has to be this pink iPhone. It looks great on the back, but on the front, it's just totally destroyed and, and broken. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to hand this back to the owner or have this turned back on. All the phones I can't give back to the owners, I'm going to stick on my wall. And it's going to be like an iPhone wallpaper in my office. This is a second iPhone. Again, I don't think this is going to turn on. It's just super destroyed. But it's going to be cool to put this one on the wall as well. Let me know in the comment section below what iPhone number I found. So let me know what the pink one was and let me know what this one was right here. I don't know my iPhones all that well, but it'd be cool to know which one I found. I have to say my second favorite find from today's dive definitely has to be the swastika or Nazi bowl. I've never found something like this before. It's one of my favorite finds from today just because it's unexpected. I've never found anything like this before and I never thought I'd ever find anything like that here in a river. But if you guys know what that is like or what that's from, let me know in the comment section below and I'd love to see that on Google to, to see exactly what I found. But that's pretty cool, man. found an old swastika pottery bowl. If you guys have any idea how this ended up in the river or what it's from, let me know in the comment section below hopefully with your guys's help we can look this up on google and figure out exactly what this is but i never thought i'd ever find a nazi or swastika pottery dish or something like this in the river man especially not here in, in columbus georgia that's crazy found some scissors a butter knife a wrench some sunglasses i always call these casey knight sunglasses because you know how his sunglasses are white on the edges these ones have mold and like slime on the edges but casey knight style if you're watching that's the river edition uh, style sunglasses that you wear man found a hennessy bottle found some fishing gear here's some bells like you tie these onto the top of the fishing pole and when you have a fish, it rings. Found some pliers. And also found something brand new I've never found before. And it's actually a magnet. People go magnet fishing. And I've seen videos online where people find like guns and stuff. And this right here is a big magnet. And they put a Gatorade bottle so it wouldn't get stuck. But it got stuck and I found it down there. That's pretty cool, man. Look how powerful this is. But uh, yeah, I don't think they found anything too crazy good because I found it at the bottom of the river. But yeah, that's pretty much all my best finds from today. I mean, I haven't been out there in a long time. The water is really murky. It was hard to work with. But we did get pretty lucky today and found two iPhones, which is pretty awesome, man. And we found a handful of really good fishing lures that I could reuse or give out to some more fishermen down there. But we had a great day today and we found some incredible stuff down there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's scuba diving video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love for you guys to join me on my next river treasure hunting video. But with that, I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.